Yo, I'm going to show you guys how you can get the creative inventory as well as some other commands you can use in uh, Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode. The first thing you're going to do is go to this file path. I'll put it in the description for you. And once you get there, you're going to open up Survival Game. Once you've opened that up, go down to line 33. And you can put two dashes before it, as well as on line 36. And what we're doing is setting survival dev to be true. So basically we have the developer commands. After you've done this, you can just save this file. And then reload the world you're in. So now that you've loaded back into your world, or you've created a new one, there's a bunch of commands we can use now. But I'm going to start out with the creative inventory command, which is slash unlimited. So you just type it in the chat and you'll notice it tells you unlimited inventory. So now when you press Q or open your backpack, you can see that we have every item. In order to turn this off and go back to the survival mode inventory, we can just type slash limited. And you'll see I have uh, the regular backpack now. For the weapon commands, we have slash ammo, which gives you 50 ammo. There's slash spud gun, slash shotgun, and slash gatling. So to give you all the weapons in the game, Another useful one is slash components. So if we do that, you'll notice it gives me 10 components. There's also slash god, which will enable or disable god mode. By default, it will be on. So if you want it off, just do slash god. And you'll notice it once again tells us what we just did. For the daylight settings and time of day, we can use slash day, which will set it to daytime. We can use time of day, which works on a scale of zero to one. Zero being morning and one being night. So if you do 0.5, that's gonna be midday. If you do one, it'll be night. And if you do zero, it'll be morning. Additionally, you can use slash time progress. Um, and this is a true or false. So if you set it to true, uh, you'll notice that the time starts moving again. But if I set it to false, uh, you'll notice it stops right there at 7. So you can use that command to lock it at daytime or nighttime. Another command you can use is slash spawn. For example, you can spawn a walk. I'll also list some other things you can spawn. Next we have harvestable. So if you do slash harvestable stone, it'll spawn a stone harvestable node on you. Usually you can get out of these, but if you can't, you can just do slash die. So we've done harvestable stone. You can also do harvestable tree. And you'll notice it spawns a tree on top of you. There's a couple of commands for kits you can spawn in. The first one is just called starter kit. So we do slash starter kit. And it drops this little chest on us. And when we open it, it just gives us some basic items that you would need when you're starting the game. Next one is going to be pipe kit. which is just going to spawn some pipes and a vacuum pump. Next we have food kit as well as seed kit. So, so just like the other ones, they just give you whatever they're called. Like this one gives you seed, this one gives you food. Another thing you can do is set your HP, food, and water levels just by using slash set HP. And then the number you want, so it goes from 0 to 100. 
Uh, and you can do the same with food and water. You can also use the slash raid command. And the first number you're going to put in is the wave level you want. So, for example, wave level 5. And then the next number is just a timer. But I've noticed the second number doesn't really change the timer. So you just put anything you want for the second number. And you'll notice now that the raid started. I've noticed a couple times that the raids won't start when you do the command and it's usually fix it whenever I leave the world and come back. Additionally, if you're playing survival and you're farming and you don't want the raids to happen, you can do slash disable raids true and that will disable raids from happening when you're farming. And then to turn it off, again, you just do disable raids false. That's some of the useful commands that I found. Um, if you guys know more, you can post them below. Hope this helped some of you guys out. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more stuff like this. And uh, thanks for watching.